Okay, now let's say your teacher has asked you, uh, even last minute, like, hey, don't forget, I want all the pages numbered. You know, and look at right now, they're not numbered. Although I can see from over here, we have four pages, but they're not numbered at all. So that's really easy to do. I'm just gonna go up here to insert, and then header and page number. I want it down in the bottom. You might, you might want it up top if you want to, but, but we could put it at the bottom. And, uh, and let's see, down, so we want a page number. Okay, do you see how we can do that? Um, let's go in the bottom. Yeah, like just like this one here. I think that's going to be great. And and we do, we do have options for that if we want to, how big that, it's called the footer, that little area at the bottom of each page now, but I'm going to just tap outside of it. And now you can see we have page number going all over in there, okay? And if you want to edit inside that, you can just tap inside of it now. And I could say, um, you know, Brad Flickinger, my volcano report page. And then see now I've got all that written in front of it. Now I can tap outside of it. And now you can see that's written at the bottom of each page as well. And that's called a footer with automatic page numbering built into it. Again, this will make you look like a pro. Your parents will be asking you how to do this. Really cool stuff. I think there is a way here that you can tell it not to put a page number on the first page. Um, and maybe that was up here when we looked at it. Um, sorry, not in those ones, but here, insert. And we could actually do the page count. Oops, 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 undo that one. But you could you could do that um, as well. But I like it right here, starting at page one is on my title page, that's okay. Just click outside of it or click in it, depending on if you want to edit it or not. But that's how to put in uh, automatic page numbering.